Andrew Michael Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica. We continue to see crime and corruption reach its highest level in Jamaica. We have seen a few resignations of ministers and public officials here and there when pressure is brought to bear. However, as the saying goes, an easy lies the head that wear the crown. For how long, how much longer can the Prime Minister sit aside and not be placed front and center to take ultimate responsibility for all the corruption that is, has been taking place under his watch. The people of Jamaica must call on the wholeness administration to take responsibility for the corruption that is taking place in our country. We saw the result of polls recently that shows that about 82 to 84 percent believe that this underholeness led government is corrupt or very corrupt. In a serious democracy, the Prime Minister would have to take away himself as someone who preside over such corruption. Within recent time, we have seen where the picnic and Buller money has been stolen in millions, hundreds of millions. Here we are seeing in the same ministry of education. Millions, hundreds of millions gone and missing once again. This seems to be what you could easily describe as organized crime plaguing this Andrew Holness led administration with corruption. Not to mention the promise he made to Jamaican people that we'll be able to sleep with our windows and doors open. We saw grandmother, grandfather, babies, women, and it is an understatement to men talk about our men, our young men, who's been slaughtered in the street, in their homes, leaving work, all over Jamaica, dying like flies each and every day. Brothers, my sisters, let's join hands together. It's the only way to rise above inequality. One nation, freedom, my people, freedom. 